Hey guys, what is up? So it feels a little bit strange because I haven't been on YouTube for about like a month But that was because I went on a cruise summer vacation started I had the liberty of just relaxing and that's what I did. I just relaxed But other than that, I am not gonna ramble about any further details I am just gonna jump into this video so, of course, as you can read from the title, this is my five-month post-op video from having vertical sleeve gastrectomy, or AKA BSG. For those of you that don't know what BSG is, it's basically a weight loss surgery where they reduce your stomach. Let's say your stomach is this big, and then surgeons remove it to yay big, so they remove like 70% of your stomach. And the purpose of this surgery is to help with weight loss. So it minimizes your ability to intake food and therefore you lose weight. So of course I'm going to start off with stats because I feel that is not only the most important but basically what people really want to know. So my starting weight was 270 pounds. Yes, that was my highest recorded weight ever. And my current weight is 180 pounds. So I am really happy to say that I have hit the 100s. Never in my life have I remembered being 100 anything. 190, 199, 170. I don't remember ever being 100. I think I flew past the 100 stage. Or I was just really small, you know, I was younger and I didn't really bother with the number on the scale. But now I do bother with the number of the scale, now I do pay attention to the number of the scale, and of course I am very happy with my results because I have known that I have worked so hard to reach this point in my life right now. Of course, like I mentioned before, weight loss surgery does help you with losing weight, but it is a tool, you know, it's only there to help reduce your intake of food. Now, the choices you make of the foods that you're going to intake is up to you, my friend. If you are continuing to eating that junk food and all that greasy food and all that itch GMO stuff and all that bad stuff that's in food, then that is up to you, my friend. I don't know why you have weight loss surgery if you're going to continue your bad eating habits. So I can probably say that I am no longer considered obese according to my BMI. I am just considered overweight now. So going from morbidly obese to obese to now being overweight and then later on in my life, of course, just dropping it down to normal. I can say has been a huge achievement for myself and I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for that because I have done a very good job at just changing my entire lifestyle and just really just focusing on myself honestly. So I do have a few topics that I am going to be discussing with you guys today and I just have them written down right here so if I'm looking down that's what I'm looking at. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is hair loss. In my three month post-op I showed you guys a video where I was having extreme, extreme hair loss and just every time when I would brush my hair before the shower, it would be clumps of hair. When I would shower, it would be clumps of hair and after I got out of the shower, it would be clumps of hair. So I was losing hair like crazy and I decided to buy some vitamins because I thought this would help. So I bought the vitamins and it was the, I think they're called Viva, but it was a gummy that was intended for hair, skin, and nails. And I recently stopped taking that about two weeks ago, and I have noticed a huge difference in the amount of hair loss that has reduced. And I changed also my shampoo and conditioner, and that has also helped me, well, I believe has helped me reduce my hair loss because I was just losing so much hair, and I was a little bit worried because it usually starts off now, you know, in the five month post op or in the six month post op. But for me, I kind of got it kind of early, you know, considering everything, and maybe that's why, maybe it's since it's been two months already, maybe it's gonna digress as the months go by. Hopefully, it does because you know us females in our hair it's like there are babies you know so hair loss good you know it it has reduced and I am a happy camper working out really 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 important starting now on to the rest of your life to work out because now that you have lost a sufficient amount of weight or supposed to be you should have lost a sufficient amount of weight according to what you eat and stuff for me I have already lost 90 pounds 90 pounds is a lot I cannot wait till I lose 100 pounds. I will be rid of half of the weight that I used to weigh, so I just can't wait for that. But, so, like I was saying, working out is a really big factor now. If you have not started working out, please do so. <laughs> 
Like get yourself a gym membership, please. This is necessary for your journey. This is vital to see results. And this is also vital if you do not like excess skin because like me, I have been working very hard on my excess skin because as you guys know, I just really hate my excess skin on my arms. But you guys will definitely tell that there is a huge difference in that. And hurrah, hurrah for that. For working out, I pretty much do everything. I do a full body workout. Luckily, I train with a friend. So if you don't, if you have a friend that goes to the gym, please go together. I mean, it's gonna be much more fun. The the time is gonna go by much quicker because you're you're with a pal, and you're honestly not gonna even realize that you're working out. Like, you're just gonna be hanging around with a friend. So when it comes to working out, do not expect yourself to be at a level that you shouldn't be. Like, don't go too high in the numbers. Focus on the low numbers and just you know really get your muscles to get accustomed to those numbers and also remember it's not how much you weigh as in weights it's not how much you weigh but how much you can weigh if that makes sense so it doesn't matter if you weigh I don't know if you can bench like a hundred but you can already do I don't know two reps of that compared to me where instead of me benching a hundred I bench 40 but I could do five reps I hope you get my vibe so after losing 90 pounds I can definitely say I am much more comfortable in my skin uh, yeah I'm definitely way more comfortable more comfortable in my skin and confidence is a really big factor confidence is gonna come at a different time for every person depending on how much weight they have lost and how they see themselves in the mirror and of course for me sometimes I still look at myself in the mirror and I still see that fat girl that I used to be unfortunately and I really had to like ask my mom I'm like mom do I look skinny in this mom do you think I look pudgy like and it sucks it sucks those days where I just wake up bloated because I feel like I didn't do a good job the day before but I know I did a good job deep down because I did a good job you know what I'm saying I definitely can tell you that I am way more confident now I mean <laughs> I'm doing things that I would never have thought that I would have done before losing all this weight. So, and of course, I will, I will say that being a much heavier girl kind of closed me off from the world and I didn't really want to go out and like socialize with people, especially guys. But I mean, now I'm so much more comfortable and I'm at ease with my life and I just feel overall just my motto you know what my motto is my motto is if I feel good I look good and if I look good I feel good I'm so smart so I'm gonna get into the topic of clothes in this video because I haven't mentioned it thus far clothing on me well my old clothing is so humongously big on me I did this huge closet clean out right in the beginning of summer and I threw away so many clothes that were just overly big on me like I looked hideous <laughs> and yeah I am buying new clothes for example this is a shirt that I bought from Fashion Nova and it's okay, you know, I'm a little bit disappointed with Fashion Nova but that's a whole other video in its entirety. But luckily this is one of the pieces that I got from Fashion Nova and that suits me really well, that suits my bust. Later on of course, like in every post up video, I will do body shots and I will do pictures. So wait for that. I have bought a bunch of new clothing. I fit into, well it depends on the material of the clothing of course but I fit into the small, medium, large range. And overall, it's crazy because who, when, if you would have told me that I would have fit into a small from Forever 21, I would have looked at you and I would have gone, you was crazy. But now, I fit into a small from Forever 21. Of course, it depends on the material of the clothing, like I said before, but um, nevertheless, it is a small and I fit into it and I am happy camper, yes. So like I mentioned earlier on in this video, I did mention that I went on a cruise and usually when you think of cruise, you associate free food, right? Good time, vacation, and free food everywhere. And for a weight loss patient, especially one as... I'm still pretty, yeah, I'm, I'm still considered pretty early stages of weight loss surgery. Hasn't even been a year, it's only been five months, but considering all of that into weight loss patient and, and cruise with 
different types of food, you might think, wouldn't you, you know, gain weight? And prior to going on the cruise, that was one of the biggest factors that I was afraid of. I was like, oh, I'm just really scared that my pouch, which is my stomach, is gonna get bigger because since I have to, since there's so much food everywhere, I'm just gonna munch out and stuff. But surprisingly, I just didn't munch out. I just really focused on my goal, which was losing weight. I focused on, of course, my five meals a day. I focused on my vitamins, the protein intake, and I did indulge. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I indulge? I'm on a cruise. I'm living my life. Life is too short to not cheat once in a while. You have to indulge. Your If your body is craving something, don't deny it, you know? Of course, if your body is craving pizza every damn night, you must control your body, okay? You must control your body. But, you know, if I'm on a cruise and I want to eat... I don't know, una crema catalina, which is creme brulee. I'm gonna eat a creme brulee, you know? Especially the ones that want a Caribbean. Oh, it's so good. I did not gain any weight on the cruise. I actually lost weight on the cruise. Hoorah to me. Now that we're on the whole topic of food, um, I'm going to talk about eating out because that is a big issue when it comes to us. So when I eat out, I know what my stomach can handle now. I know what my stomach can and cannot handle at its most. And I eat when I go out. I eat any food that I want to eat when I go out. And of course, I don't go out every weekend and I eat food from outside. But when I do eat out, I eat out. So if I want to eat a steak, I'll eat a steak. If I want to grab pasta, I'll grab pasta, even though it's ridiculous to grab pasta because it has too many carbs and it'll fool my pouch up like this. But you know what I mean? If I want pizza, I'll get a pizza. I'm not going to deprive myself of the things that I know that I want just because I have this mentality of losing weight and looking at a certain amount of carbs. Because if I am working out every day and I'm busting my ass off at the gym, you best believe if on the weekend I want to munch out and I want to eat half a slice of pizza, I will eat that half slice of pizza. And if I want to eat a ice cream cone, I will definitely eat an ice cream cone. Now, like I said, this all has to be done with boundaries. This cannot be every day, this cannot be every weekend. You just have to pace yourself in life, you know? And you can't, like I said before, and I have mentioned various times, you cannot deprive your body of its needs, especially if you have been accustomed to living your entire life, like I have, eating junk food, and I don't know where you block out the junk food, your body's gonna go into shock, but you just have to let your body know that, no, I cannot eat this type of food today, but if I lose these certain amount of pounds in this amount of time, I'll treat myself. You know, that's how I do it. It might not be how you do it, but once again, eat to each their own. And if I have lost 90 pounds in five months, then that means that I am doing something right, okay? Okay, so of course I am just going to be posting some before and after pictures like always. This is from the very beginning of my journey which was 270 pounds and this is in comparison with the picture that I took this morning weighing in at 180 pounds. I also wanted to post this picture because since I am wearing a long sleeve and you really cannot see the definition of my muscles. But here's a picture of my muscles. I have been really working hard on my arms. As you guys know, the worst area that I dislike of my body is my arms because of the saggy skin. But there is definitely a lot of improvement in that area. Now I am going to be doing some body shots. So of course I have my high-waisted pants because I just think they flatter me better. And I have this new shirt that I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I bought from Fashion Nova. These are my incisions, or the ones that you can see. Just these three, and the fourth one is here, and I have the fifth one right here. I don't even know if you can tell with the lighting, but they have healed up really nicely, and they're really cute, actually. So guys, I don't think I have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching this video, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!